I wonder if you've had an experience where you've shot an image in a horizontal or landscape format only to find later on that uh, you perhaps wanted to fit the image into a frame that was say more square or or maybe even more portrait. Well there's a couple of ways that we could actually change the format of an image in order to get it to fit into that uh, new frame. Simplest way I guess would be to go and select the crop tool and then just uh, go in and crop, holding down the shift key, crop a square format around that image and so you end up with a square image. Problem associated with that is that we lose some of the some of the detail that was in the original scene. I guess we could also go in and just double check that it's a not a background layer first of all and then go up to the uh, image and then down to transform and across to free transform and grab the image and actually drag the sides in until we end up with a square format but of course what happens is the whole of the image is um, squished I guess you could say horizontally and so we end up with people that look like they've been on a diet for too long because they're all tall and thin so no we don't want to do that either well in Photoshop Elements 8 what we have is a new tool called the Recompose tool. You can access it in a couple of different ways. You can grab it from uh, underneath the Crop tool as you can see it here um, and we get a little bit of information shown to you about how to use the tool when we first open it. If you choose to not see this anymore you can just hit the Don't Show Again but, um, selection in the bottom left hand corner of that dialog or you can access the tool fr from under the Image menu and you can see it here recompose. So we re select the recompose tool. Notice that we have the corner handles and the side handles just as we do when we're working with the free transform tool but up in the options bar we have some other um, I guess features or controls as well. First of all we have a brush that we can select and we'll just increase the size of the brush using the sideways uh, square bracket brackets and we can just brush over the parts of the image that we want to mark as being important and therefore we don't want to make any change to their I guess their format so we're saying okay the, these, uh, this section of the image we don't want to be changed then when we come in and actually click and drag the sides of the photo in notice what happens the rest of the information in the scene is actually getting compressed but the section that we marked as important is retained at, at its original proportions. Fantastic. So we're able to actually make a square format from a horizontal or landscape format image simply by marking the areas that we wish to, to keep and retain or, or protect and then using the recompose tool and the handles on the edge of the image to actually drag the image in. Let me cancel out of there for a minute and just show you a couple of other things from the options bar. We have the ability to select the eraser tool and erase away sections that we've previously marked for uh, protection. And with the other tools on the options bar we also have the ability to mark particular areas for deletion when we're actually uh, doing the resizing or reformatting. So we could just draw over a particular section of an image with the red colored brush or the deletion brush and that way when we actually go in and start doing some changes that part of the image will be deleted. So if there's something in the image that you don't want to appear in the recomposed photo well then that's definitely something that you would mark over with the red brush. And uh, notice one of the other options we have on the options bar is the ability to select um, skin tones automatically. So if this was a full color image well then by clicking on that select skin tones button it will actually highlight the skin tones with the green brush. You can come back in then and adjust those highlighted areas using the brush to add to that selection or that um, areas that have been painted green or the eraser tool to remove different parts that have been inadvertently selected. Finally we have the ability to adjust the image using the presets that we've got here to specific sizes. So one of the very cool features to do with the recompose 
feature or tool or function in Photoshop Elements 8 is the ability for us to go, okay, we want this image to fit on a 5 by 7 inch print. So we can actually go and select the 5 by 7 inch print option from the preset and automatically the image will be adjusted to that size. So it's a very cool way for us to actually um, make sure that we're resizing the image to the size of the paper that we're working with rather than using the manual drag in the corner or edge handles approach.